All right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, we are the brothers from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp. And uh, before we begin this lesson, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Kakradash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the true leaders of the nation of Israel. And also, we want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring, toiling in this work for the sake of Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. And also, Shalom to the large multitude which consists of the men, women, and children that's believing and that's serving the Lord to the best of their ability. I want to say Shalom. And, uh, you know, hey, so me and the brother, uh, Kodash, you know, we was, uh, you know, speaking about, you know, this truth, you know, and basically how this truth is deadly serious. All right. This, this truth comes before, you know, everything in this world. You know, it comes before your job. It comes before your, your your children. It comes before your wife, you know. And hey, our, our duty on this earth is is uh, is to do the will of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. All right, teach His word. You know, making our body a living sacrifice, putting Yahweh Hashem Al Shai first. All right. So you know, we're gonna go through the Spirit and uh, uh, you know, just this is uh, Luke chapter two, verse forty six. It says, and it came to pass. That after three days they found him in a temple, sitting in the midst of doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why hast thou, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought after thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought? That, that ye saw me, wish ye not that I must be about my father's business? So, so Yahweh Shah, he was about, you know, he was a, he was about preaching his gospel, all right, because he knew that was his that was his, that was his purpose. All right, his purpose is is doing the will of the heavenly Father, all right. You know, ultimately we're all doing the will of the heavenly Father, you know. But these people, they they actually think, you know, just by them, the heavenly Father allowed allowed them to do wickedness. You know that the heavenly father don't exist <clears throat> you know but we're supposed to be about this truth man. that's this is our this is our number one job you know esau's job comes second you know um, this is ecclesiastes 12 and verse 13 <clears throat> let us hear to hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear yahweh and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man you see so backing up with the brother saying this is our duty on this earth. This is our purpose. This is our uh, um, will. You know, everybody, you know, um, wants to know or always wondering what's their will will in life. Well, the Bible just told you. Fearing, fearing you how about your mouth shy. Keeping his commandments, you know. And, and, and that's why we're put here on this earth. We're not here to be celebrities. We're not here to to be TikTok stars. We're not, we're not here... To, to be to be the to be the hardest you know to, to be the biggest coon for Esau you know because hey, that, that's basically what our people do you know you got these celebrities selling out we, we all got people at our, at our job you know that they just eat leap, eat sleep and live you know work you know always talking about work you know but that's not priority in, in this life all right Okay, this is uh, this proverb of 16 and verse 9 it says a man's heart devises his way but the Lord directed his steps all right so these people they they, they may be thinking in their mind you know yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and do this but something may pop up and they hold they hold plans is just changed because the Lord he's the final decision maker out here man we're all just puppets you know but that's just the pride you know of people's heart you know, but the, you know, but the point at hand was was really, you know, being about uh, Yahweh Hashem uh work, man, All right? Because the Lord, He's not unrighteous to forget our labor of love, right? Uh, Romans twelve and one, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Verse two, and be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will 
of Yahweh Bashamah was shot. All right, it says, "Be not conformed to this world." You know, we have to conform our ways to Yahweh Bashamah was shot. All right, coming up out of this world, you know, and if you truly, you know, a, a born again uh, 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 man, all right, if you truly baptize in this word, it's going to show in your actions. You know, you, people are going to be able to see your light. All right. The scripture says, um, faith without works is dead, you know, so you have to have, uh, you have to show your, your works, you know, w which is, uh, it's not just always making lessons, you know, because what you do off the camera, you know, that matters just as much, you know, so you can't fool the eyes of, 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 of how about Shemal Shai, all right, his eyes are upon the sinful kingdom, you know. Flipping. No, I was about to say, you know, the scripture says make your calling in an election sure. All right. We have a chance, you know, at the greatest, at the greatest, at the greatest thing ever, you know, uh, being saved, be, being delivered. All right. We're having spiritual powers. All right. Being the first fruits in the kingdom of heaven, being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. You know, our names are our, 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 our names being remembered. You know? Yeah, this is Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yeah, you know, you can work out your own salvation with fear and with trembling. You see, that's the problem with Jake. You know, they don't fear the Lord. You know, if everything has to be in fear. All right, I fear if I don't do the work, if I don't strive to make a lesson every day, I feel like the Lord can jack my ass up. He can take, he can take the Holy Spirit away from me, you know. And hey, I, I, I strive to do a lesson a day, you know, and go out to the highways and byways, you know. Every, every, try not to miss a camp, you know. And so everything has to be out of fear, you know. Uh, that was it. I got a precept here. This is Hebrews 6, starting at verse 9. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation, though though we thus speak. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and your labor of love, which ye have showed towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. See, so the Lord, he's, gonna, he's not going to forget our, our spiritual work. All right, because the, the this 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 system this structure of Esau is going to go down. So these works is not going to follow. Only the works, only our spiritual works is going to follow, and that's going to lead us to either you're going to be of the elect of the of the uh, of the elect 144,000 one third, all right, or, or you're going to be a two third, and it's based upon your spiritual works. And, um, it says, because it says, which he have showed towards his name. So this is this is spiritual uh, spiritual business here. This comes first before everything. You have to, you know, uh, it says, make your body a living sacrifice, man. We're making our bodies a living sacrifice. All right. This is uh, Matthew chapter 19, verse 28. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne, of his glory, ye also, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. You see, and that's in the, if if we endure to the end, if we keep, you know, uh, if we keep up the work that we doing, you know, the the Lord gonna make us judges. All right, starting with the uh, Yahweh Shah, he's gonna be the main judge. Then you, then you got King David, and then you got the and then you got the twelve apostles. All right, then one hundred and forty four thousand. All right, and we're gonna be we're gonna be the the rulers of the earth. All right, we're gonna be the judges. All right, we're gonna have we we, we gonna have uh um uh, you know we're gonna be in the high echelons. That's what I used to say. All right, verse verse uh twenty nine. Then everyone that has forsaken houses 
or brethren or sister or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake. See, you got to be willing to lose all these things for the Lord's sake, you know? Hey, because hey, like, like the brother was going into, the fashion of this world is getting ready to pass away. All your works that you saving up for, all right, you, you, you going out, all right, buying all this, all this designer clothes, you know, you, all these things are, are going to pass away, you know, and that's why you got to put the Lord first. You see, because the Lord says, this word shall not pass, shall not pass, but heaven and earth shall, you know, and it's key reading says, shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. You see, so we got to be willing to lose you know, everything, pretty much everything. The Lord has to come first. You know, if you're a, if you're a mother or your father or your children, you know, if that interferes with the Lord, you gotta be you gotta be willing to cut that off. You know? So um it says verse 30, but many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. You know, so who's first in this society? Esau, Edom, you know, you got the two thirds of our people, you know, our people uh, 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 the rest of this world look up to these celebrities. They they idolize Beyonce. They idolize Michael Jordan. All right, but those individuals are going to be last in the kingdom of heaven. But but us that's doing this work, we're going to be first in the kingdom. You know. Um, I appreciate it. Um, I was thinking of another one, but let me get this one here. Revelations chapter fourteen, verse twelve. Here is the patience of the saints. Uh, here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh Shai. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Mm -hmm. See, our, our works follow us, man. You, you know, you got it. You know, our, our works follow, man. Our spiritual works, man, and that's all that really matters, right? Because America, neither root nor branch, right? So whatever corporation that you're part of, all right, all that doesn't matter, man. You know, you gotta occupy uh, until the Lord comes, man. Occupy in these scriptures, because these wisdom and knowledge is gonna be the stability of our times, man. All right, not you, uh, not having designer, you know, all that. That's all. That's all Esau shit, man. The Lord said we're gonna He gonna give us a hundredfold. This is the uh, book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 16. It says, They profess that they know God, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. And, that, and that's our people. They, they, honor, they honor with their lips. Oh, I love the Lord. You know, you, you gotta, it's all about action. The Lord wants to see action. And, and that's what the that's what Christians do, you know. That's what that's what phony people do. But the true believers of Yahweh Shai are going to be they, they're going to they're going to show in action. And look at look at our look at our our apostles, you know, our elders been diligent in this truth. Apostle Tahar, 30, 30, 34, 35 plus years, you know, and that's that that's the example, you know, and and that's that's how. Uh, um, and that's how you know a man. The scripture says you shall know a man by his fruits. First yeah. Timothy 6 and 12, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called. See, we've been called in this thing. The scripture says many are called a few are chosen, so that's why we gotta, we gotta, we. That's why we gotta be diligent. That's why we gotta make our calling and election sure. You so that's just like you, you, you at an NFL combine. You know everybody, everybody, uh, going all out. You know to a, to us to impress the scouts. 
You know, when they doing a 40 yard dash, they run the fast they can. You know what I'm saying? Because they're, they're trying to make it into the into their league. You know, they're trying to make it to the NFL. They're trying to make it to the NBA, you know, and we trying to make it into the kingdom. You know, we're trying to be the 144,000, you know, so we, we got to, we got to, you know, g g give it our best, you know? Yeah, just make a call on what you're sure. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was a scripture that said, not everyone that called out to me, Lord, Lord. I think it's in Matthew. Uh, maybe, you know, because even within this truth, people know, you know, a lot of people know the, uh, the will of the Lord, but they're putting off from day to day. You know, a lot of people know that the name of the Lord is Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. All right, you know, because GMS we have a certain we have a certain criteria, and people, a lot of people know the criteria but don't follow it. You know, so not everybody that calling me Lord, Lord. All right, and you, you you do not the things that He say. And I got this scripture here. I got it. Okay. Oh no, that's not that smart. This is uh, Luke chapter six. Verse 46, and why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Whosoever cometh to me and hear and hear my sayings and do them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built an house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the flood arose, the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. And that rock is Yahweh Shah. He's that rock solid foundation. All right. Uh, Proverbs says uh, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. All right. It says in verse 49, this is uh, lukewarm individuals. But he that heareth and doeth not is like a man that <clears throat> is like a man that without a foundation built a house upon earth against which the stream did beat vehemently and immediately it fell. Immediately, man. So when when Jacob's trouble arise, man, a lot of a lot of people are they gonna, you know, they gonna they gonna fall because they don't have that solid foundation, mm -hmm. and 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 the ruin of that house was great. Uh, this is Matthew chapter ten, in verse thirty-seven. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. So we can't, we're not even supposed to put our, our, our children, we're not even supposed to put our father and our mother over the Lord. So what else more your job? What else more uh, a car? What else more clothes? All right, and we keep reading, it says, and he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. So it don't matter how, how much hell you catch, you know, it don't matter what you got to go through. You know, if, if you got to catch a bus to to get to camp, to, to, so you can so you can make it to camp. You know, if you got to catch an Uber, you know, you got to give diligence to make your call in the election sure, and you got to be be willing, you know, to 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 carry your your afflictions, your sufferings, and and, and still serve the Lord. You know, verse thirty nine: He that findeth his life shall lose it. You see, and a lot of people they're trying to they trying to uh, um, save their life, you know, whether it's catching the jab, I mean, taking the jab, you know, or or you know, and it says, read that again. He that findeth his life shall lose it, you know. And a lot of people they're not willing to lose their life, you know. They're not willing to to, to put uh, um, your dreams and aspirations aside and serve the Lord. The Lord said He's gonna give you a hundredfold. And it says, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. So you got to be willing to, to give it all up, you know, and, 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 and serve the Lord and put him first and put everything, every, you know, you, you, you can put your, your, your wife after that. You can put your job after that, but your, but the Lord has to be first. All right. You got to do his work, you know, take time out to study and read. You know, and, and 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 make lessons. All right, all that takes time. You know. All right, one more. Uh, this is Matthew seven, and verse twenty-two says, "Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy, in thy name, 
and in thy and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy and in thy name done many marvelous works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. All right, because all because people people may may be thinking that may be thinking that they finessing the Lord. All right, because you're doing sin behind closed doors, but the Lord sees that man. And it's just and it's just a matter of time, you know, before the Lord plucks you out, all right. And then, then and in that day, what you gonna say? You know, you gonna say, Lord, we, I, I did the work. I, I edify our brothers, but you know, but the Lord said he, he was never one of his true disciples, man. He was just a vessel being used. You know, I don't got nothing else. You got nothing else. All right. Hey, so you know, Lord willing, this brother, I mean, this lesson was edifying all right the point on this lesson is it, it, to be diligent in this truth you know put in put in your how about shema was shot first you know doing this work you know given given this this chance and this opportunity that we are part you know give it your best shot all right so lord willing the elect of the nation of israel was edified and we're going to close out by giving all praises honor and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Those are the true leaders of the nation of Israel. And also we want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring, toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Ba'ashem al Shai. And also we want to say Shalom to the one-third men, women, and children that believe and that serve the Lord to the best of their ability. We want to say Shalom and the water Yahweh Ba'ashem al Shai for giving us the spirit to make this lesson, Lord willing, to the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and a Baba Ba. Baba Ba. Shalom. Shalom.